You'll receive what you want when you stop settling. <laughs> okay. So I'm a generator. If you don't know what human design is, you should definitely check it out. But something that I've learned from being a generator and just for a lot of people, and most people are actually generators. I think 70% of people are actually generators in the world. So a lot of you guys can probably relate to this. And obviously, even if you're not a generator, you could probably still relate to this. But saying yes when you mean no is literally the quickest way to become out of alignment with your money, your prosperity, your sense of happiness, your sense of fulfillment. It's literally blocking you from getting what you want because you are telling the universe that I am perfectly okay with having bare minimum. I am perfectly okay with having the least amount. That's what the signal you're sending out every single time you say you want one thing and then something that you really don't want, but it's like, okay, presents itself to you. You're like, well, I guess. Even though deep down, you know in your body, it's a hell no. It doesn't feel good to you. But you're like, I don't want this person to not like me. I don't want this person to think I'm flaky. I don't want this to think like that. Who gives a crap? Literally, that is a big lesson that I had to get re-knocked in my head recently. Um, literally, my throat right now is on freaking fire and not necessarily in a good way. Good way because I come up with, I've been coming up with a lot of amazing ideas today, but bad way, it's literally hurting. I don't know if I have strep throat, I don't know what's going on, but it's like burning. I could not freaking swallow like earlier this morning. I woke up at like four o'clock in the morning, could not sleep. I was like, what is going on? But I popped some painkillers and your girl's good. But then when I actually, you know, cause there's always an energetic feeling and reason for why we experience things in our body. I really tapped in, I started journaling and I really wrote down how I was feeling. And when I really did the research on the energetic reason for having a sore throat, it's, a, it's your throat chakra, right? Your center of expression. And I realized that I was holding myself back. There was a couple of things that I wanted to say that I did not say. There was a couple things that I said yes to that I didn't really feel like I wanted to do. There was a couple people that I interacted with because I felt like I had to because I was obligated that deep down inside I knew I did not want to do. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be in their space, but I did it anyway. And guess what? I kept on literally holding down my truth. Now my throat is like, oh, you gonna do that again? Okay, bet, bet. Let's let you know what happens when you don't speak your truth, when you don't voice your irritation, when you don't voice your anger, and when you suppress it, and when you pretend like you are okay with certain things that you are not okay with, when you don't say when you're actually truly uncomfortable and you actually don't like something. A lot of us like to please, and we want to make people feel safe, but what about us? How are we feeling? Are you actually in alignment with the thing that you're putting out there? Are you actually in alignment with the people you're hanging around? Are you actually in alignment with the guy you're about to go on a date with? Are you actually in alignment with the way that you're making money? How is it actually feeling to you? A lot of you guys know that it's not right, but you have a tendency to say, well, it's, it logically makes sense though, so I gotta do it. If you do that too much, you're gonna find yourself feeling burnt out, out of alignment with your blessings, and around the wrong people and feeling miserable. Yeah, from time to time, maybe it'll happen. You gotta say yes, whatever the case is. I don't know, I don't know. But most of the time, you have to honor that truth deep down inside that knows this is right for me, this isn't right for me. And that goes back into getting back into your body, taking that deep breath. I can't take a deep breath with my nose right now. <laughs> but try it, take a deep breath. And asking yourself the question, how does this job feel? 
how does this job feel? Does your body feel expansive or does it feel closed? Is it a mm-mm or is it a mm-hmm? What makes you feel excited? What makes you feel turned on? All of these things are so essential to your success and understanding what is truly in alignment with you. And like the title says, the blessings are trying to come into your life, but they can't come in if you're settling. You can't tell yourself, I want to be um treated so nicely in a loving relationship but when bare minimum guy comes around you drop all your bags for him you do whatever he says and you're doing whatever like the universe is like okay she's okay with this she's satisfied with this she wants more of this so then guess what the universe is gonna do it's gonna mirror back to you what you are literally accepting in your life you can't be mad about people treating you a certain kind of way over and over and over again if you keep on showing up to eat what they are giving you. <laughs> shout out to, uh, shout out to like Miss Stormy. Uh, we don't eat whatever they put on my plate. <laughs> the low vibrational plates. We are not accepting low vibrational plates from the universe anymore. We only will accept high vibrational activities, high vibrational people, high vibrational friends, high vibrational ways of making money, lots of money, high vibrational activities and foods and consumptions. When you start raising your standard, that's when the blessings start to come in, but you have to hold that standard, hold it. And when you're tested and tempted by all the trash and stuff of that nature that's gonna try to come, you gotta hold it. If you make it past the holding to your standard and holding yourself in that pose, as my mentor would call it, as Mina would call it, holding the pose in that place, you will be able to make it to the other side where now you see the actual change and transformation occur, whether it's in your friendships, whether it's in your dating scene, whether it's in your finances and your money. You gotta hold it. It's almost like when, when I was really struggling with money, especially keeping money, oh my God. I would make so much money, let me tell you, I knew how to make money even since I was 16. I, I haven't had a job, but somehow I've been getting paid this whole time. <laughs> I did, I've done social media my whole life. Social media's been my whole job, right? And you know, I did pretty well for myself, especially at that age. But guess what, where was it? I, I, I didn't see it nowhere. I did not see that money nowhere. As soon as it came in, it would go out. But then, when I understood the concept of being able to hold it, the Divine Masculine, the container, being able to hold it and to contain it, guess what? I started being able to keep bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger amounts of money liquid in the account and in certain assets and investments and stuff like that. But that didn't happen when I didn't set that new standard that not only am I the person that gets to make money, I'm also the person that gets to keep money. So I'm gonna hold it, but not hold it so tight that it can't go anywhere because it needs to flow, but I'm gonna hold my standard and be open to what life has to offer, but I'm not gonna just take just anything. It's the perfect balance of being open to the possibilities, open to the opportunities, but being able to sift through the ones that are not in alignment with you. And then once you do that with skill, with finesse, and with that natural grace of your essence, that is the moment that the universe is able to give you exactly what you are seeking. And that's when it's going to come. When you can hold the pose and do things that solely light you up. I don't know why I'm on my Disney channel right now. Du, 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 du. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. That's the message that is on my heart right now. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. Like it up, 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 like it up. Hey, like it up. Seriously, it really does help me when you like the video and yeah. Yeah, that's the message. So if that resonated, like the video, like I said, comment down below and I would love to hear more. I would love to hear how did it resonate, why, what's going on currently in your life. And just know, I look at every comment. I see every single comment. All right? Okay. Bye.